Hi, so I am KB with Nerd Files. How are the three of you? Good. I'm good. I'm good. How are you? Oh my gosh, so lovely. Listen, I absolutely adore the show, so let's talk spoilers because I cannot believe that ending with the three of you and Kitty. Um, it seems like love is coming from and towards Kitty in yeah. all directions, and she potentially has a lot of choices to make if there is a season two, yeah. which I, for one, uh, need immediately. So I have to ask a bit of a one true pairing question. So for each of you, and I'm going to actually start with you, Gia, what is something positive that you think your character, you know, brings out in Kitty? And conversely, what is something positive that she brings out in yours that you feel like would make you the best for each other? And so listen, mm. Gia, what's something positive that Yuri brings to Kitty's life? That's a really interesting question. Um, what does question. Yuri bring to Kitty? So I think Yuri obviously has made, given Kitty the chance to really see another part of herself, her sexuality and like how she views love and who she can love. Um, and also vice versa, Yuri learns that this little, you know, like ball of light person that is like annoying at first but I'm like but I'm like I can't help but love it you know and I think that she can really kind of I, I, I think they would complement each other that way because Yuri's not they're very different people you know like yin and yang situation mm. yeah oh my gosh very very much so yeah. uh and for you uh Min Young, like what about day because day is actually the whole reason why kitty goes there and things have you know kind of turned upside down for mm -hmm. sure um i would say the reason why they were in a relationship for that long and loved each other was <clears throat> i would say like sincerity like, they didn't have things to do together or, like, they didn't spend time together. They didn't, like, have the most fun time together. But it was just sincerity. And, like, since they were in a relationship, since they were really young, like, it feels like kind of, like, there's no reasons to love each other. It's just, like, Unconditional? Or? It's un unconditional. Mm. Mm. At least for a day. Mm. <laughs> yes, I, I would have to agree. Mm. I think that they both kind of grew up together, right. which is like a huge part of their relationship and, and why it works and why I find that there still may be some potential for, for Kitty and Day in the future. You never know. Mm. Uh, but last and certainly not least, we have to talk about Mino because, man, I didn't see it coming. But I did, and I kind of like it a lot. So what is something positive that you think that Minnow brings out in, in Kitty? And what does Kitty bring out in him? Uh, okay, I would say Minnow to Kitty is that I, Minnow try to show, um, you know, you know, there's a unexpected attractiveness about Minnow. Like, he's not all about, like, Oh, like I can do whatever I want. He's also has a soft spot, and some some sort of sincerity that does come out to him, time to time. Like, um, but for Kitty to Minho, I think it's also the same thing. But like, like yeah, unexpectedness, and you know, like he's like he. I think she also looks at him in a way like, oh, he's like a firecracker. Like he can burst any time. Like I'm not sure if it's dangerous or it's something good to look at. But yeah, I think that un unexpected excitement um, is something that connects um, Mino and Kitty. Mm. Yeah, that firecracker energy might be something mm. that I hope we see more of in season two. But, you know, thank you all for taking the time to chat with Nerdisiles. Really, really enjoyed the show, and I can't wait for everyone to see you. Thank, thank you. you. Bye. Thanks. Have a good day. You Have a good too. day. Amazing.